Hi, this is Danielle Zana. Well, I haven't posted a vlog for quite a while, but um, I feel I need to post something so that at least some people, whoever is listening, can be aware of certain things. Um, first of all, um, I'm going to cover is the uh, EU referendum. Now, what people don't, what, what I've discovered is David Cameron and uh, uh, Nigel Farage um, were the ones that um, started this uh, referendum thing. And um, it's already caused problems um, um, with people in general, like, um, for example, prices of things gone up, interest rates have gone up, the pound has dropped, and uh, there's been incidences as well with um, people fighting and arguing in the streets about in or out, and um, basically it's just dividing the people of the UK up. And often, uh, with this Brexit part, they're often blaming um, immigrants where the true problem is, is the austerity uh, that the Conservative government has um, brought through. Now, quite recently as well, um, there has been an assassination of uh, an MP called, named uh, Joe Cox. And... Um, I, I, uh, the thing is, uh, um, I think David Cameron and Nigel Farage had plotted this assassination. Um, I don't know how, but perhaps somehow either using influence or maybe, see, I don't know all the full details, but, uh, but I just sum things up, and um, I feel this, you know, because this whole referendum thing is so stupid, and uh, and um, it hasn't. Basically, I feel there should have been a referendum for the referendum because it seems to be that this whole referendum thing is just um, was kind of like implemented uh, by UKIP and the Conservatives. Uh, the UKIP. Now, Ian, stop chew chewing my wire. Um, the UKIP went out. Uh, Conservative Cameron went in. However, I think most of them went out. David Cameron went out secretively. Um, he pretends that he went in. The reason why he went out is to abolish human rights, number one, to get away what he can, because if there's an issue, um, a human humanitarian issue, for example, let's say uh, with, with the benefits or disabled people, or even L the LG LGBTI people, there's something that happens. Um, if people can't win a case with the UK government, they can take it further. They got like a second chance with the EU. But the problem is, uh, if it's if it's Britain only, and and you know the Conservative government government is uh, ruthless. Um, there, there's no there's no second. Uh, Second, um, second, I'm trying to think of the word, uh, second chance in trying to uh, get things sorted and fight um, the um, crimes against humanity. Uh, Marianne, I'm busy. My cat, he's set up. Yeah, he's chewing my wires. It was actually the headphones, actually. So, yeah, you're chewing my headphones. So, um, uh, 
right, I think the, uh, the assassination was done uh, to uh, kind of influence people uh, to react in a certain way, um, to vote specifically. And there's, I see a lot of reverse psychology in this whole referendum thing as well uh, happening. Um, I choose not to vote or even participate because I don't want to blame myself for vo um, voting on something that I don't have a say about and it was a, a thing decided about between Farage and David Cameron. I don't see anything happen with the Labour, the Greens or, or anybody else matter of the fact it's just a, a thing between um, UKIP and conservatives and uh, UKIP is kind of like a buffer part of party uh, to uh, conservatives so the whole thing is just fucked up seriously it's stupid and it's fucked up and um, either way in or out people are just gonna get fucked in their ass but I'd say it would be worse, probably worse with the, with, with the arts. Um, because David Cameron is a dictator. And this whole thing with Boris becoming Prime Minister. No, that's not going to happen. David Cameron will still be the Prime Minister in or out, whether you like it or not. So, there we have it. And you can more or less... Join the dots when you examine the whole thing uh, that, you know, Cameron is actually secretively in for Brexit. Um, Brexit sounds like an anti-constipation drug for horses. So, I've actually done a uh, bit of a graphic for that. It's on my Twitter. Okay, I'll go to the pictures and shit. There we go. There's David Cameron, UK dictator. Then there's uh, Brexit, <laughs> constipated horse. Because <laughs> uh, basically, Twitter was giving me ads for the voting out on the Twitter. Anyway, I just don't, don't want to be involved in this madness. Um, um, there's certain evidences uh, mentioned that this person knew uh, the the MP that was assassinated, and the out people are trying to say that he's using the thing to. Meanwhile, it's actually David Cameron and um, Nigel Farage that's using the uh, assassination to manipulate voters so there's another thing I, that I wanted to bring up is another shooting in uh, Orlando guess 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 who is like kind of involved with it believe it or not G4S yeah G4S you know, in my previous videos about G4S, the part of the, well, Circo is the Umbrella Corporation. Where G4S is like the security, Capita is the finance, and Circo is the Umbrella Corporation. So, uh, they, the Umbrella, come on, I'm getting a bit muddled there. The uh, um, Orlando Shooter latest G4S latest G4S employee involved in the senseless tragedy G4S they're, the they're part of the industrial military complex private corporation 
part of the industrial military complex. And I've had issues with them before. And um, they kind of creeped out of the woodwork again with this incident. And ironically, that would be with, with, with a LGBT shooting, uh, with killing, killing 49 people. So I bring that one up, and then lastly, what I'm going to bring up is this. This seems to be not wanting to die. Apparently, you know, I'm just kind of like subscribed to emails with uh, Stephen Graham, and then he kind of hosts uh, different ufologists um, to have contact, contact in the desert. And uh, I found Stephen Greer to pretty be authentic in most things, but his guest speakers uh, in the conference that he has, I just, was, you know, the whole thing is just tickets and shit like that. It just nauseates me. Anyway, um, <coughs> last year he had the. Uh, um, the host speaker, um, what name? Um, Laura Heisenhower. This name is kind of come up the woodwork again. Uh, and it's on one of the channels I subscribe. Somebody, a channel that uploads various random videos of UFOs. Some of them are. You know, non authentic, but some of them are. Which I could say it's kind of like a. You know, it's better than um, Third Face of the Moon, which is just absolutely bullshit. Where this one, you know, this person actually does their research and whatever, normally, until this kind of shit kind of popped up with the Laura Eisenhower. What people don't realize, you know, our Eisenhower was the one who uh, pushed forward the need for nuclear weapons as a deterrent. Didn't abolish them like after um, Japan and that, learning a lesson like, well, um, this bomb caused a shitload of damage. It's bad for. Uh, humanity, it's bad for the planet, it's it's just, you should ban it, you know. But no, no, because it was the Cold War. But he was, like, involved in initiating the first Cold War. We're currently in the second Cold War. And, um, Cold War is, just like, sort of, like, not really a war, but it's, like, um, it's talks of war, um, fears of war, um, Russia and England and America, Europe, uh, they kind of like, you know, so like anything that's stupid could actually trigger off and kick into World War Three. Uh, so far, um, things have been kind of going all right, it's like, I wouldn't say all right, but, um, Nothing extreme really happened. There's been where World War Three just suddenly kicked in, and then you'll just have like mushroom clouds all over the place. Um, fortunately, that hasn't happened yet. But anything, it will take an idiot to do something to um, get that going, and that's what what a cold war is all about it's like it's just like people are afraid of each other there's hardly any trust for example Russian submarine near British coast it causes hype and sensationism and fear um, 
um, there because the one's crossing the borders of the other one. Uh, tensions arise, but thank goodness nothing stupid happened. So that's what the Cold War is all about. It's like it's just this tension, and it, and anything that could just you know detour the tension, then you have like World War Three. But so far, things have been chilling. I think that's the uh, best way to describe it. Well, Eisenhower was is one of the people that involved in the Cold War. And um, he's the one that introduced the deterrent with nuclear weapons. So, he's part, so basically, Laws, Laura Eisenhower comes from a a family that's involved in the industrial military complex and um, as you mentioned as you most some people who know about UFOs and things like that uh, know about Carol Rosen Carol Rosen mentions uh, to keep an uh, keep a lookout uh, with the last card because the industrial military complex is running out of ideas and think ways of keeping the industrial military complex financed and running um, because it's a business it's it's a business uh, they make money out of war and killing uh, so all these these um, wars with the Middle East um, ISIS uh, originally it was with the Taliban uh, Al Qaeda which means toilet, basically. Uh, I'm well going to have a go at the toilet. Ironically, Trump is. A, I like the way Cher talks about Trump as being toilet. She has a little like on the toilets every time she tweets Trump. Um, um, I kind it all that all that crap. It's all all the stuff is like conjured up, you know, by the industrial military complex. Uh, CIA is part of it, G4S is part of it, Capit is part of it, Circo is part of it, Circo, G4S, they are the ones that have divided Palestine and Israel and they're the ones that's causing the drama and the shit with the, the Muslims and the Jews. Um, see, I don't pick any sides. I, uh, the best thing is to be neutral and not hate one specific group of people. Look at the deeper picture. Look at the cause behind it all. Everyone's like, oh, it's Jews, it's the Jews, that. And then somebody else like, oh, it's the Muslims, it's Muslims, that. Very well, religion ha is a bad influence. It's just, it, it, religion, money are catalysts, uh, which war feeds on. Uh, religion is something the industrial military complex likes to use to get people to do their bidding, get people to go out and give them a reason to go out and kill. Uh, really because of re religion. That, that, that's the dangerous thing about religion. And that's why I don't like religion uh, in general is um it's very it it's it's very much like a cut list that can be used for same as money money you need money um uh the way society on this planet is you need money to live survive eat uh it's been structured that you have to work to get the money or you get it some other means but it's not as much as this fear. You can't go much far if you disabled or sick or something like that. You basically um, just get uh, have enough to live on and so on and so forth. In some places, they don't have any benefits in that. So if you disabled and you're not well, you're sick. They you just you just nothing. They just you just see you people just let you just die in the gut and that. This is why I hope the planet goes into paradism because paradism is the the, the solution. Uh, so that there's a future. At the moment with this capitalistic society, 
there's no future, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing. So go on uh, about this uh, Laura Eisenhower, I've, 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 I've bumped into her, and I've, I've had my say, I said, you know, you, you're nothing but an agent of disinformation, spreading anti-extraterrestrial hatred, suppressing the truth, suppressing people to understand extraterrestrials, to understand that extraterrestrials are not a threat, to understand that extraterrestrials seeded life on this planet. You know, you got to think of it, you got to look at it in an artistic point of view. Artists create things, they make things, like the paintings I have in the, in the background. I created those paintings. Now, being creating something, it doesn't make sense to go and, and destroy it and, 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 and get... It's, it's, it's absurd, really. It's like... It's like, it's, it's, it's like the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to put in words to describe it. But um, I'm working on artwork to kind of like uh, I don't know if it's gonna be if it's gonna be uh, seen that well seen as much. I've done the digital um, work. I think I should. I think I might have it in my. I because I have it on my iPad because I'm still working on the painting, and I have it on the iPad so I can use it as a reference when I'm painting. Should be in photo stream. There we go. This is the, uh, the the digital piece that I'm working on, and um, as you can see, it's the extraterrestrial, and. Um, she was in, she was involved in seeding life here, yeah. um, and uh, you can see there's the seed. This is from an actual uh, photograph, the nano seed, which contains um, genetic material and DNA in order for life to uh, get started and going. And you can see the DNA there and. Um, and things like that and um, this is like in the not too distant future um, when if things just just end up becoming a nuclear war you see the uh, atomic bombs going off to the background and uh, the title of this painting is what did we create so Oh, there you can see over there, you can zoom in. You can zoom in, you can see that's part of the seed, which get in the seed, designed and embedded in, the, in there, um, all the different, um, you can say, um, uh, this is the, um, The tree of life, in a sense, when you're studying uh, zoology and that, um, which often, which um, has all the different thing, animals and things related to each other, and there's humans over there. Humans, this little figure, humans, and uh, so she. Kind of when she's holding, yeah, you know, she she kind of like watches um, the earth, and because she's put a lot of work into it uh, with the other extraterrestrials, their friends, she's put a lot of work into it, and she's flying over, and then suddenly the bombs are going off, the atom bombs, and. Um, She's like, oh, what did I create now? 
uh, what she's seeded and life became what it is today is what also some people would say evolved to what it is today or well, the extraterrestrials kind of like assisted the um, evolution of these things um, uh, by splicing and whatnot to speed up the processes and uh, she's there Oh, what, what did we what did we do? Well, what's got wrong? They they they're blowing themselves up, and they're destroying the the rest of the the life on the planet. All because of their political bullshit, and they just can't get the political and religious and economic bullshit, and what the industrial complex has done. And um, her cat comes to her, tries and comforts her, um, saying, you know, then the robot as well, um, comforting her, saying, the robot says, well, we can we can do it all over again. At least we we, we know what 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 went wrong uh, from our observations um, and the things what happened and stuff so that's what the picture's all about and then so I'm so far in the painting um, um, I'm this far in the painting that's how far I am I'll be able to carry on working on it um, on Wednesday, uh, tomorrow, uh, my space has been occupied by somebody else. So I'll be working on this. Try it. I need to finish this other digital piece I'm working on. Uh, the one with the figures. That one there. I'm still working on that. And I want to finish that one tomorrow at the studio. But. Um, this one, I'll continue working on it. So yeah, there we, you, there we have it. Um, I'm just sick and tired. I, I was wondering when this Laura, Laura Eisenhower stuff would, would start coming out though. Because apparently she looks like she's the one that would be starting the the last card. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if you know, like I said, if Hillary if Hillary gets in, um, she says um, UFO phenomenon. Yeah, you know, like my like going on an airplane is like a phenomenon, which I get on but and you know fly around. So if I go on holiday. Uh, get on an airplane. Yeah, it's a it's a phenomenon. Yeah, we we ride a phenomenon from one place to another uh, across the planet. You know, so it's a phenomenon from other planets. Yeah, yeah, it's a phenomenon. That's what Hillary and I, I've got a I've got I've kind of like figure out yeah that uh, this Laura Eisenhower she somehow connected with Hillary and um, the so-called disclosure with Hillary is going to be this kind of shit the anti-extraterrestrial crap or oh, we are in an invasion yeah yeah invasion oh goodness which is going to make people Dislike extraterrestrials. It's going to just promote the. F you know, there's there is fascism that's been promoted as well. There's all this immigrants, uh, uh, migrants, and what people just don't get it is most of these these people are fucking refugees, refugees. But the media is going migrants, immigrants, migrants, immigrants, migrants, immigrants, migrants. Really, um. 
shoving in people's heads. I'm actually, uh, I think I should finish off this. It's going on to 29 minutes. I don't know if it could take that long. Yeah, so, yeah. So, just, she is a, dis, dis, she's, if anybody kind of like agrees with this, I don't know. But not many people know about extraterrestrials, which is the problem. This is the problem. No one's really met extraterrestrials. No one's really, uh, because there's all the mystery about it, and that's why it can be easily manipulated by the industrial mystery complex to bring out the last card there and bring out all the research of so what they've been doing in the era 51, um, such as the reversed uh, engineer technology. And then the invaders would be the bioengineered drones or bodies which would be piloted by military personnel where uh, you know DARPA with the conscious link between the uh, robots and yeah, them in kind of like Avatar basically um, with the um, these drones which are bioengineered from the DNA of the extraterrestrials which the military have shot down the the extraterrestrials in Area Fifty One, not Area in Roswell, were examining the nuclear weapons that was around in that area, and the U.S. military didn't like this, and so they shot them down. They did shoot down the extraterrestrials with an energy weapon, uh, conventional weapons like uh, missiles and that. Or nothing but um, like throwing eggs at a, a um, let's try and describe it in a very simple form. You got your knight and your armor, and you throw eggs at the knight. That's what like um, missiles are like to UFOs or actually spaceships. Um, but the energy weapons um, interfere with the uh, the um, the anti-gravity fields of the crafts which make them wobble out of course and then they and then, then they lose their tachyon field or their tachyon field breaks down tachyon field is like um, the energy field like you know the, the torus field around the craft it just kind of like just turns it off and uh, therefore once the torus field which is basically like uh, which separates some, which separates the spacecraft from from the universe. Like it's like a, a little universe bubble that goes in uh, that protects the craft um, so that it can go faster than light speed, warp speed, basically. It's like the warp engine. It, 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 the, the energy weapon messed around with the warp engine. The UFO fell down. Uh, three of the extraterrestrials were killed in the crash at the impact. The consciousnesses were um, went back to their home planet. Uh, there was one survivor. Um, that survivor was then interrogated by the military, and which was linked to the Freemasons, and uh, they interrogated this extraterrestrial. Uh, to try and get knowledge and uh, uh, details on how the spacecraft works and all that. So, yeah, so that's what. But because the ex, but then the extraterrestrial refused because extraterrestrial knew that um, they were dealing with. A bunch of trigger happy monkeys um, refused, and so they starved the extraterrestrial to death, and not even giving giving them water. And uh, the extraterrestrial died. The body was um, put on ice, 
um, and then the uh, the, the bodies were then the DNA that was used for experiments underground in Area 51 and they created these uh, drones these clones, these drone clones so that they, they will try and develop these for, for a long time and then um, uh, what they will do is they will get a soldier that will go into a capsule and then pilot. So this is all what they want to do with this false god, fake alien invasion. And um, and uh, see Eisenhower is Laura Eisenhower is the uh, the figurehead that would probably kickstart this last card. So if people are smart enough. To see beyond this bullshit, then there's there's hope. But if people don't see past all this crap and just believe all this bullshit and lies, I don't know. People have been bullshit. Look at look at this. Look at this referendum. Ah, oh, people are just not seeing what's happening. This all this reverend is all about money, to be honest. Money, money, money. Um, and David Cameron wants to have his um, unlimited power and uh, really make things hard for people. Because there's no uh, uh, mommy around, which is the EU to um, prevent him from getting rid of human rights and things like that um, things were the same as they were this that by rights there should have been a referendum like I said a referendum for the referendum where people get to vote on should they have a referendum or they shouldn't have a referendum but no that was decided all but for between Cameron and Farage, and then they have the vote. Uh, it, it's a rigged, it's a rigged thing, uh, which is really democracy. Most of democracy is illusion. It's actually what I call it. I would say is abuse of democracy, where mob mentality wins, and. Uh, and all they're gonna need, all they do is just manipulate the media so that people vote in what way they want them to vote. And then there's not also that. Then there's like jippering and certain things like not having like some people can't if registered, they lose the registrations. Uh, ballot boxes go missing and all that stuff. Just to manipulate the vote and all that. But yeah, it's a rigged thing. It's a, to be honest, it, I'd rather have a, like people have a complete say in the whole thing. Where something like this, like with the EU, it, it, it needs more than a, um, a vote. Because a vote is just like too binary. It's too binary. People got to at least have a. A say, and I think um, I know it's the government will probably think it's too much work for them, but that's a job uh, where people could have actually write in, write, write, and they have to read every single citizen's write up and thoughts about it. And that's it, but it's anything you do, it's not like a normal general election or anything. Uh, this thing is like uh, you know permanent, and uh, that's uh, anyway. Uh, but the whole thing with the voting is just—it's a rigged system. Yes. 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 Yes.